Welcome, I am Francisco and today we are celebrating Litha. Join me for a quick divination ritual using only playing cards. So why is it called the midsummer if summer hasn't even started yet? Litha is the point in the year when the sun has reached its peak, signified by the longest day of the year. In neo-pagan traditions, after today, the power of the sun god begins to weaken until he dies on Samhain, Halloween, to be reborn at Yule. Why are divinations so popular during this holiday? Because at this point in the will of the year, everybody wanted to know what the coming harvest would be like. And that curiosity evolved into all sorts of rituals and folk tales. Traditionally, young women would gather wildflowers from a churchyard and put them under their pillow in the hope of dreaming of their future husband. Another folk tale tells that if one stands at midnight on Midsummer's Eve in the porch of the church, you will see passing by in procession everyone who will die in the parish during the year. But if you do this, the legend says you will see coming last in the procession a shadow of yourself. And when Midsummer comes again, you'll have been laid to rest in the village graveyard. There is a long tradition of using playing cards for divination and these are especially useful if you don't have a tarot deck or an oracle deck at hand. This was inspired by the book Midsummer Magical Celebrations by Anna Franklin. Only 32 cards are used, so we'll separate them from the deck. We will use 7, 8, 9, tenths and all face cards plus the aces. Before we begin, let's clear our deck with some salt so may we become clean. I will also say a prayer for this season. Here's a Letha prayer. Farewell to the waxing year, season of fertility and growth. Welcome to the waning year, season of harvest and wisdom. Let's set an intention for this reading. How is my harvest going to be? Pick a deck from here, A, B or C, to make it more fun. And let's see what your cards say. Once you've picked, I will be using this divination guide from the book Midsummer Magical Celebrations by Anna Franklin. Let's see what the deck A says. A King of Diamonds. That says a capable, powerful man. The second card is Seven of Clubs, which says a small child influences you. And the last card is Nine of Diamonds, which is news about money, business or property. So you have a man, a child and some sort of business going on during this harvest. Lots of things to take. Deck B says a jack of diamonds, which is a messenger. Seven of hearts is a harmonious relationship and marriage. And the ace of diamonds says important news, probably in a letter. So there are good news coming, perhaps a wedding or a new friendship, whichever it is, you will find out very soon, be open to your messages. And the deck C says, Eight of Diamonds, a short happy trip or excursion, Ace of Hearts, great happiness in the area of relationships, harmony and contentment, good news. And the Queen of Clubs says, a dark woman who is warm, affectionate and well-meaning. This seems to indicate that you will be traveling or moving forward or improving your relationships with the people around you. I will leave it open-ended, but you can try this same reading at home for more insight. The term Midsummer derives from European farming because this date marks the midway point in the growing season. I also read that in the past they only had two seasons, summer and winter, and June would be the point halfway through summer, hence midsummer. Thank you very much for watching and for your support. You can find these printable pages for your grima at spellsay.com. I have included a two-page ritual with a fire jumping lethal ritual, prayers and more ideas for this holiday. Have a wonderful Litha and blessed be.